Hello everyone, this is Ben from iForm Builder. Today I wanted to create a short video to show you how to use the Smart Option List feature. This feature is very beneficial when you have a pick list or select element and you would like one of the pick lists to be segmented depending on options selected in a previous list. So you'll see on the right side of my screen here I have two lists, a choose state element and a choose building location element. They are both given the input properties of a pick list and they have option lists assigned to them. So in the choose state option here we have a few states assigned to it and based on each state we want to segregate the option list based on choose building location so we'll select option list manager then we will see that they are segregated here by each conditional statement um, the easiest way to do this is to go into the advanced tab and we have all your options here on the left side of the screen as well as their index values and we want to have the conditional value here on the right side. So we'll have choose state equals equals zero. This is saying that when Pennsylvania is selected in this choose state element here above, that Philadelphia and Pittsburgh will be the two options that appear. Then down here on the right side, we'll see choose state equals equals one. Now this is saying that when Virginia is selected in this choose state element, Herndon and Arlington will appear and so on further down the list. So if we save this list and make sure we assign it to the choose building location and we save our form here, we can sync up our iPad or iPhone and we can select the form that we want to use this with, so Smart Option List Demo. And I will select Pennsylvania for the state and then the building location will be Philadelphia or Pittsburgh. So let's select another one here. Let's try New Jersey. And then choose building location will show different elements based on the choose state element as selected. Hopefully this video gives you some insight on how to use the Smart Option List feature. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the iPhone Builder YouTube channel. Thank you.